Hi, I'm Ginger, and I wanted to share about bodily exercise and nutrition. First off, I want to say that um, I used to have asthma, and um, I started to eat healthy and clean, and the asthma went away. I had prayed about it and asked Heavenly Father for wisdom how to get rid of asthma. If I was doing something wrong, I asked him, am I doing something wrong? And uh, he dropped it into my spirit that I needed to take Moringa. I had done some research and I found out that Moringa leaf powder in capsule form is very good for the human body. So I started to take that. He used that video to show me that that would be good. And I started eating clean and I've always exercised since I was 25 years old. So that was, that's always been in place. But um, the eating, I used to eat a lot of sugar and things, but okay. So let's start out by talking about bodily exercise. In the Bible, it says in first Timothy chapter four, verse eight, for bodily exercise profits little, but godliness is profitable to all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. So even though it says that bodily exercise profits little, it doesn't say that bodily exercise is useless. So basically God is saying bodily exercise is good, but godliness is, is better. So he's not saying that bodily exercise is bad. So I believe that we who are not in wheelchairs, we who um, have legs and arms and things should get outside and walk or whatever you like to do, kick a soccer ball, throw the football with your child if you have a child. You know, if you like to rock climb, go out and rock climb if you have that opportunity where you live. If you like to swim and it's hot and it's a season to swim, get some modest clothes on and hop in the lake and go swimming. I like to walk and hike. So I've been walking since I was 25. For years I've been walking. And I walk an hour a day very fast, very fast. And um, then if I go on another walk in the afternoon, um, I don't feel like I have to walk as fast because I've already done my, my workout in the morning. So whatever you choose to do, whether it's riding a bicycle, you know, the ski, downhill skiing, whatever, do something. And so bodily exercise is important. Plus, I believe it's good to get outside every day. It's so nice to get out in God's beautiful sunshine. Even if it's snowing, put on your snow boots and your ski coat, your winter coat and a scarf and a hat and get out there in the snow. If you have a pet like a dog or something, go for a walk with your dog every day. You know, there's so many opportunities no matter what type of weather you have. I walk in the rain. I take my umbrella with me in case it rains and I walk in the sleet, snow, rain, sun. The only thing is in the winter, I swim and I swim in a very modest, um, I have my swimsuit on, but I never show it to anybody because I have a big dark t-shirt over it and a camouflage skirt that I wear that comes to my knees. And I don't care if people look at me like, oh, look at that lady. She's fully clothed. Look at her. Ha ha. I really don't care because I want to be modest and I like to swim. So I jump in the lake. I live five minutes from a beautiful lake. So if you don't have a lake by you, that's okay. Do something. You can even work out and do like aerobics in your house, in your living room or in your bedroom. There are ways to work out if it's too hot outside, if it's 105 degrees and you can't go out to exercise because you feel like you'll get dehydrated or heat stroke. Put your air conditioner on in your house and work out in your house or lift weights or something. Okay, so now on to food. Like I said, I had asthma for 12 years. I had to go every about every one to three months to get steroids um, and antibiotics to bring the swelling down in my bronchial tubes. And so now I take seven thousand milligram um, moringa leaf powder capsules every day. It's organic. I get it on Amazon. The, a bottle of 120 
capsules at a thousand milligrams each is about, I think it's like around $18 for the bottle. And um, so I take that every morning. And um, so let's get on to the food. A lot of people, they drink coffee and soda and all this, and they eat a lot of sugar and it's really bad for the body. Now, I'm not one to say that you're saved by how you eat because you're not. You're saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ, like it says in Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. And then after we get saved by grace through faith, if we do put our sincere faith in Jesus Christ, then we should have fruit in keeping with repentance, meaning we should want to obey Jesus. And there's a verse in John 14, 15, where Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. So if we love him, we will keep his commandments. We will read the scriptures and do what he has commanded. Okay, so on to food. I used to eat so much uh, like chocolate chip cookies and Breyers vanilla ice cream. I would eat 900 calories of vanilla ice cream in one sitting. I'd eat 14 or 15 cookies in one sitting. I was heavier then. Um, I weigh 133 pounds right now. And back then, I weighed about 15 to 18 pounds more than I do right now. I was just eating, you know, eating this chocolate and all this, all these cookies and so much sweets and just a lot of garbage. And so also, um, I want to just go ahead and tell you how I normally eat so that if you do struggle with asthma, you can try this and you can also pray to God that he will touch and heal you. And um, also be careful not to use harmful chemicals. I stopped using all harmful chemicals for cleaning. I use vinegar to clean my toilet, to clean my shower, to clean my um, sink and floors. I use vinegar. It's like an antimicrobial. It's like a natural cleaner. And so, um, yeah, so, you, you know, you have to be sensible. Like, if you know chemicals are harmful to the environment and to your lungs, then why would you spray that all over your furniture? Get rid of your pledge that you spray on your end tables and make them shine. Get rid of your um, all your chemicals that are just, uh, you know, loaded with all kinds of different things that are harmful to your lungs. Throw them in the trash and get some vinegar. Or you can buy, I also use, sometimes I buy um, seventh generation cleaner. I do fine with that. The all-purpose cleaner, it smells good and it um, cleans well and I do fine with it. So it's all natural. You can get it at like uh, Whole Foods market or something like that. Okay, so on to the eating. What I suggest is to try what I'm eat, eating if you do struggle with asthma or other ailments and just try it and see if it works for you. It's worth a try. Who wants asthma? Nobody. Nobody wants to struggle with their breathing. Also, I would like to say this before we go into the food and what I eat and stuff. Um, be sure to forgive everybody. I have forgiven everybody who has sinned against me. And you have to forgive yourself. After you ask God sincerely to forgive you of all your past sins, you have to forgive yourself too. And be genuine when you ask God to forgive you. And as you call out that you say, God, I forgive myself of these two. Be genuine and sincere and heartfelt about it. And um, so and that's just another thing. Um, if you look that up in like scientific, um, like health journals and health magazines, you'll see that forgiveness really helps our physical body a lot. Forgiveness can really help us. We don't want unforgiveness. It can cause sickness. You can research that to see if that is scientific or not. Okay, so on to the food. Give up all white sugar, all white sugar. Throw it in the trash. 
Do not have any brownies with white sugar. If you make any type of goodies, make it with honey, raw, local, organic honey. And um, you can make some, um, like, it's kind of like banana bread, but it's more like a, a spice bread. Um, and I put the recipe in the description. And then you can frost it with some organic cream cheese that you mix with your blender, not your blender, but with your handheld mixer, you mix it with organic, raw, local honey. So you throw away your white sugar, throw away all the goodies, all the brownies, all the cake, all the, um, those, uh, apple fritters and all those donuts and frosted cookies and sprinkle cookies and throw all of those goodies that have all those artificial flavorings in them, throw them away or give them to someone, but don't eat them. If you want to be healthy and you want your lungs to be healthy and your body to be working well, eat healthy and clean. It does not save you. You're saved by grace through faith in Christ. It's not of yourself. It's a gift of God. So we can't boast in it. That's why it's a gift from God to just put your faith in Jesus Christ sincerely and you get him. You get him in your life. You get salvation. He paid the price on the cross, on the tree. He died for us. He came from heaven to earth, born of a virgin, and he grew up and died on the cross. He never sinned. And he, of course, was eternal. He was with Heavenly Father in the beginning because John 1, 1 through 12 says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. So he was with God in the beginning, and Jesus is the Word. If you read down to verse 14 in John 1, you see that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Okay, so back to the eating. I just wanted to make sure people know that I don't think that you're saved by giving up white sugar or giving up soda or giving up apple fritters or whatever. You're saved by grace through faith. This is strictly physiologically healthy foods to eat. They're good for you physiologically is what I'm trying to say. So um, give up all soda, give up all coffee, give up all caffeinated tea, but drink, drink tea like peppermint tea, dandelion tea, things like that that are not caffeinated. Those are healthy. Um, and drink lots of purified water. I like crystal geyser, but drink, you know, whatever purified water you like, as long as they use like a reverse osmosis in their uh, processing to purify it. It's a very good process. The reverse osmosis gets out a lot of the garbage that's in water. Okay, so you give up white sugar. You give up all white flour, all bleached white flour. Whether it's bleached or not, you give up all flour, especially the bleached flour. I mean, you don't give up all flour because you can have barley flour or oat flour but or sorghum flour. But do not eat the, the white wheat or the bleached white flour. Give that up. And you might be thinking, well, what's so bad about wheat? Wheat sometimes causes inflammation in people. So it's not that wheat is is horrible it because a lot of people can eat it and it's fine but i like barley or organic oat flour when i make my bread that's what i use either organic barley flour or organic oat flour you can order the barley flour on amazon okay so um give up all the white sugar all the coffee all the soda all the goodies, you know, with all the additives in it, all the cookies and brownies and crispy cream donuts and all that. Give it all up. And you are going to get things that are sweet, like fruit. You're going to retrain your apostat. You're going to retrain your palate to where you like fruit instead of things sweetened with white sugar. Um, so your, your honey is going to be what sweetens your, your bread and your frosting that's basically just two ingredients, cream cheese, organic cream cheese, and organic raw local honey. Okay, so if you want to try this eating uh, regime that I do, 
at 12 o'clock, you eat salmon patties. You take wild caught salmon. I just go ahead and make this for the whole month and put it in baggies. So I get like 12 cans of wild caught Alaskan salmon with no additives in it. It's just salmon. That's it. Open up all those cans, drain out the water, take out any bones. It usually has like the spine. You have to take those bones out and throw it out and then break it all up and put it in a big pan or something that you, a big bowl or something. And then you're going to add, after you open all those cans up and get all the good salmon and put it in a good bowl or something, you're going to add in 12 eggs to those 12 to 13 cans of salmon. And then these are organic eggs, organic eggs, not the other eggs. And then you're going to add in some organic garlic powder and um, some chopped sauteed organic onions that you pan fry. Okay, so once you mix all that together, you make patties and you're going to dip the patties in oat flour, organic oat flour, and you pan fry those in organic olive oil. And then what I do is I bag portions up, a day's portion for 31 days or so. And I put that in the freezer and every day I grab that out. And then I buy cassava shells. You can get them at Walmart. They're cassava shells. They're made with cassava flour and they're natural. It's just cassava and water, I believe. There's like a few ingredients and they're all natural. And so you can pan fry your cassava flour in organic olive oil in the morning or at, at noon. And then you're going to take one of your salmon patties out of your freezer and thaw that out and in a different pan, pan fry that in organic olive oil until that all breaks up. And well, yeah, I, I take a fork and I break it up so that it's like going to be like all broken up in your taco. It's going to be all flaky in your taco. And uh, I usually put in organic chives. So once your shell is already done, your, your cassava shell, your taco shell, you put that on a plate, put on your um, salmon patty that's all broken up, and then sprinkle on your fresh organic chives on top. And I usually sprinkle on some organic um, uh, garlic powder on top. Then in a separate pan, while actually while all that's cooking, in a separate pan, you're going to take some organic broccoli or some organic cauliflower, whatever you like, whatever vegetable you like, and pan fry that in organic olive oil. So at noon, your lunch is going to be organic salmon tacos with a side of organic um, mixed vegetables or cauliflower or broccoli that's been pan fried, sauteed, and um, you also get a bowl of grapes, organic grapes, whether they're red or the deep dark red or the green grapes, whatever, or any fruit. It could be cherries, it could be mangoes, it could be papaya, it could be blueberries, it could be strawberries, whatever you like for, for fruit. That's part of your dessert, okay? So you get to get your organic fruit and just get, you know, I don't know, maybe like 30 grapes or, you know, like a fourth of a cantaloupe or something. And okay, so wash all that and put that. So that's going to be your dessert. And you also get two slices of your homemade bread. And the recipe is in the description. It's going to be a really delicious cinnamon bread with topped with natural cream cheese that's made with honey. So you have no white sugar in your diet. And um, so that is, you didn't get anything for breakfast. You're doing an intermittent fasting. You don't eat anything at all for breakfast and you eat at noon, what I just described. And then at five o'clock, you get your dinner. For dinner, you, I, I buy this, um, it's called Against the Grain. It's pizza that you get at Walmart over by the healthy section, over by all the Amy's organic dinners and all that. And you'll see it's called Against the Grain. It's a cassava flour, 
pizza dough. And then it has like a pesto, pesto, um, with, you know, it's all natural. And so you get one slice. That would be, it's kind of a smaller pizza. So I take a fourth of the pizza and that's one slice. And I bake that for like 12 minutes on like 400. So that's going to be for dinner. And you also get a side vegetable that you pan fry, organic frozen vegetables that you pan fry about, I would say about um, as much as you can fit, like, you know, in the cup of your hand, um, or maybe like two hands, you know, so maybe about uh, two to three cups of vegetables chopped up. So pan fry that and um, in organic olive oil. And then for dessert, you get the same thing. You get a bowl of fruit that's organic and you get two slices of your cinnamon bread that you made with organic oat flour or organic barley flour. And it has that yummy frosting that has no white sugar. You can have tea if you get thirsty later on, um, some peppermint tea or some dandelion tea, organic, and drink lots of water, but don't drink near your meals. Try to wait an hour before you eat and an hour after you eat before you drink any water. But do try to drink about maybe eight glasses of water, purified water every day. That's what I eat. You might think how boring, but I, you can change up the fruit every day if you want for variety. You can change up the vegetables every day if you want for a variety. I like to swap those out sometimes, especially the vegetables, just for a variety. And I have not had asthma in two years. Two years. Praise God. I had prayed to him. I called out, what am I doing wrong, Heavenly Father? Am I doing something wrong? And he dropped that into my spirit to let go of that sugar and all that, all those artificial flavorings and let go of MSG and let go of artificial flavorings and preservatives and monodiglycerides and nitrites. So you might wonder why I don't eat like, like beef and pork and all that. A lot of that stuff has nitrites, especially lunch meat that's like sliced ham and stuff has nitrites in it. They're very bad for you, chemicals in it. So that's why I just eat salmon for my um, meat source. Okay, well, it's up to you if you want to try it. It worked for me. May Jesus bless you.